Hi folks, I'm Steve Hindi for Shark, showing animals respect and kindness. In February 2016, and at the request of the Animal Legal Defense Fund, shark investigators joined an ALDF investigator in California to have a look at California's so-called happy cows. As we showed you in our last video, the cows weren't very happy. Some were sick. Some were injured. Some were very dead. Today, we'll take a look at some of the people responsible for those cows. Even more disturbing was the police support of the dairy people. Officer, a word? On February 16, after Shark had filmed the Joe C. Costa dairy farm from public property, we were followed by one of the dairy people. We didn't care. He could follow us all day if that's what he wanted. But then we found out why he was following us. He was a beacon for the police who swooped in. Three vehicles from the Stanislaus County Sheriff's Department and one vehicle from the Newman Police Department. Why did they stop us? Uh, we're here doing an invest. Uh, we got a call that there are people trespassing on the property. Fit this description, the vehicle license plate, and so uh, we're here doing an investigation. Nobody trespassed. Okay, well we're doing the investigation. We, until we learn otherwise, uh, we're going to continue with our investigation. Deputy we got Mendoza. a call saying you guys were out on someone's property. Well, let, me say, let me say it again. We did no trespassing. I want, I want the people who said this identified because they lied to the police, and I expect them held accountable. We hadn't trespassed, and we hadn't yet flown our angel for the day, and we never flew it over the Joe C. Costa dairy. The dairy people were just lying. Do you mind showing us the video of where you guys were at? And that would solve, solve that part of this very easily. I showed one of the officers what was on my camera. After reviewing my clips, the police realized they had been duped by the dairy people. Meanwhile, lurking in the distance was the guy who followed us. The guy who led the police to us. One of the guys who lied to the police. Too cowardly to show himself, the lurker parked way down the road. But I started walking back to say hi. I figured that just because the lurker was a lying coward was no reason to not be neighborly. Predictably, however, our skulking friend was not in a neighborly mood. He fled, but not before we got a good look at his vehicle. Although I explicitly stated that I wanted those responsible for lying to the police to be held accountable, nothing has been done. Apparently, lying to the police is okay in Stanislaus County, so long as you're on the right side. Hey, asshole, you're trespassing on private property. What? You're taking pictures where you haven't got permission to. These were nasty, paranoid people, and they were clearly afraid of anyone from the outside seeing what's really going on. We've got a. You want to, you want to go to jail? We've got a public easement right here. No, I don't public give a damn property. what you think you've got. You're taking pictures of private property. Sure, Maybe what you can do from public property. Yes. Go ahead, call the sheriff. Who the hell I'll... are you? Go ahead and call the Who sheriff. Who the hell That's are what you? Want to do? Answer my damn question. Who the hell are you? This incident painted a portrait of California's dairy people, and it is not a pretty picture. But that was far from the end of it. In our next video, we'll show you what happened the very next day, when we return to the Joe C. Costa dairy farm. After watching the willingness of the police to respond to the dairy people, wait until you see how they respond to us when we call them. You won't want to miss it. You can click here for information on Shark's campaigns across the U.S. and beyond. To help fund our efforts, click on this link. Please, help us help our animal friends. I'm Steve Hindi for Showing Animals Respect and Kindness.